My dear sons, by ordination, brothers, by faith and discipleship, you are men, right? Only men can be priests. Not all men can be priests. From among so many men, you are called to be priests configured to Christ the priest. And because you are men, you are not women. But after ordination and soon in God's time, you will be called fathers. But fathers in celibacy, single parents, so to speak, solo parents. And today, as you receive ordination and soon to be called fathers, may I invite you, my dear brothers, to learn from women how to be good priests. Women cannot be priests, but priests should know how to be women so that they can be better fathers. If only all fathers in the church would allow women to become their teachers in parenting, in fatherhood, we would be closer to the heart of the Lord. Priests according to the heart of Jesus. And it is not by chance that you receive ordination on the solemnity of the assumption of the Mother of God. Because the Mother of God is your best teacher how to be good fathers. What is it about motherhood? What is it about womanhood that we fathers should learn and live in our lives? There are four stages in motherhood. The first is conception. Second is pregnancy. Third is birth. Fourth is nurturing. Nurturing, nurturing and nursing your infant. Let us go one by one. You cannot conceive because you have no ovary. You have no uterus. You cannot conceive. But how does a woman conceive? A woman conceives because of intimacy. There can be no conception without intimacy with a man. In the same way, my dear brothers, you are called to conceive the Lord. But you cannot conceive the Lord unless you grow deeply in intimacy with Him. And what is intimacy with the Lord but prayer? What is intimacy with the Lord but contemplation? What is intimacy with the Lord but solitude? Solitude with Him. You are called to deeper intimacy and intimacy is not prohibited by celibacy. You are called to be truly intimate with the Lord so that in the womb of your hearts you can conceive Him. Conception teaches you as fathers to grow deeply in intimacy. What does pregnancy teach us? Pregnancy is nine months. Some wish it were shorter, but it is always nine months. Because shorter than, light, than that, life would be difficult. So pregnancy is a period of waiting. It is a period of waiting lovingly, cheerfully, faithfully. And you are called to be that also. Men in waiting because you are not the groom. 
we are only the men of the groom. And with the people of God, we wait for the coming of the Lord. You are only forerunners. You are only echoes. And with you, we wait for the coming of the Lord. Our generation has become impatient. Our generation mocks faithfulness. Our generation considers patience as a joke. But you, receiving ordination today, teach us how to wait. Because true love waits. Wait with hope. Wait with faithfulness. Wait without getting distracted. Wait fully focused on the one who is to come. Wait teaching people that waiting is hoping and hoping brings us to greater heights of spiritual life. Birth, all birth is painful. There is no birth that is without pain. As all birth is painful, all growth is also painful. And you are called to teach us that. Because when God told you, come follow me, he also said, come die with me. This priesthood, this diaconate should be painful. It cannot be painless. Because you're called to be men of sacrifice. And do not allow the people of God to pamper you. Do not allow the people of God to snatch the cross from your lives. Do not allow them. When the cross is there, carry it. Because the most beautiful lessons in life are taught by darkness, are taught by crisis. Because convenience and comfort and easy living, these are very bad teachers. And the lessons that convenience and comfort teach us will only lead us away from the Lord, not closer to Him. It is only those who are willing to walk to the dark night who will be able to see the beauty of the stars and the moon. Do not be afraid of the dark. Do not be afraid of pain. Because the pains that cannot kill you will only make you better persons. Do not be afraid of fire because they will allow the, the gold in you to shine forth. Do not be afraid of pain. You are not called to be analgesics for society. You are called to be our companions as we carry our crosses. And then, nurturing. You cannot breastfeed. But you can feed the people of God with the Word of God. You cannot breastfeed like women and mothers. But you're called with your hands to give them the body of the Lord, the bread of angels, the bread of saints. You are called to nurture. You are called to give life because it is only in giving life that we can truly live. You are called to be men for others. And it is only in living for others that we can truly live for God. In an hour, you will be called fathers. And in God's time, father also. But do not be afraid to be mothers. Do not be afraid to be tender mothers. Do not be afraid to be nursing mothers. Do not be afraid to give yourself do not be afraid of pain so that you can give birth. Do not be afraid of the cross. Do not be afraid to wait because true love really waits. And to a world that mocks fidelity and patience, stand strong and stand tall and say, I will wait for the Lord because the Lord is faithful to all who call upon his name. Conceive by intimacy. Conceive by prayer. 
May God's will be done in your life as Mary allowed the Lord to shine in her life. And brothers, if I may end this homily addressing Nino, now Dom John Paul, it has been a long journey. But your ordination was part of God's plan and the journey, the long journey, was also part of God's plan. Even before time began, even before God created the sun, the moon, and the stars, God already knew that on the 15th of August, 2022, you will be priests, you will be God's deacon. Not earlier, not later. And uh, when God called me to be a priest, and then later on as a bishop, I did not know that I would be blessed with today's ordination. But God knew, because this ordination was written by the hand of God. And we look forward to years of faithful ministry, of intimacy in prayer, of faithful waiting, of courageous endurance of pain, of co courageous carrying of the cross, of tireless, selfless, nurturing, nursing, feeding God's people. But if there should come a time, dear brothers, when you will be tempted to ask, was it the right decision? Or when the church that you love hurts you, wounds you, or breaks you. And when you're tempted to say, I go, before you make any decision, please come over. We can talk together. And we can talk to God together. And I know that God who blessed you on the 15th of August will be the same God who will bless you for eternity. Fathers, do not be afraid to be a mother, a mother like Mary. Brothers, dare to be tender, dare to be sweet, because our Lord has taught us that. May God's will be done in you, and at the sunset of your lives, may the same God who called you come follow me, be the same God who will say to you, welcome, good and faithful servant, father and mother of God's people, enter your everlasting reward.